America. It's Nana Unplugged again. I know I told you I was going to talk about up and down. I'll tell you what that was. But I had a little change of plan. Went to Walmart today. Got between two families with three or four kids apiece. They're buying orange juice and gallons of milk, eggs, bread, cornflakes with wick. Now you tell me how that baby's going to eat cornflakes and drink that orange juice. Oh, and they had the good American. Mexican cheese that I like. Now, I can't even afford to buy the Mexican cheese, and I live on cheese, but I buy the store brand, the cheap brand. Because I can't afford it, because I don't have wick. I told them that kid couldn't eat that, so why were they getting Of course, they didn't answer me, because they don't speak English. Then they turned around and bought Cokes and steaks, cookies, all that kind of stuff with food stamps. Now, I hate to tell you, but this old woman showed herself. I was furious. Like I say, I love cheese. And I love the great Mexican cheese. It is fabulous eating. But I can't afford it. But here we are, people, getting things I can't afford, and they don't even speak English. So how are they working? Uh, I don't know. Don't get me started. But... Let me tell you something. I'm not against people coming here and working and feeding their families. But I am against people coming here working, getting something for nothing. Just come here. Get a legal visa. Come here and work. Feed your families. And go back home. You're not American citizens. Just because you have babies here, they shouldn't be American citizens. Now, that's not your fault. That's America's fault because we have these stupid laws that we need to get rid of. But come on, America, we need to wake up. I followed these people at the store after I pitched my fit. Guess what? They had a new car. Yeah, a new car. Vans with license tags on them. So, you know, how do you get license tags when you're not legal? Then we have this Arizona situation. Why are you people out there hollering for your rights? If you're not legal, you have no rights. This is America. If you're from Mexico, that's your country. Go back there. Come here illegally. I don't care. I'm all for helping people out. I don't think any of this was what I wanted to say today. But somehow maybe I'll get it all in. I don't know. Maybe I won't. But that's just me. But I'm telling you, I'm upset with this. I grew up in a time when they didn't have food stamps and free lunches. We had outhouses and no lights. We didn't have all this, and we made it. So what is wrong? Somebody tell me what has gone wrong with our country. Like I say, don't start the racist stuff with me, because I had cancer and a hip surgery, and I had to get blood both times. Now, I don't know what the color of the skin of those people were. Don't care. I got their blood, and I appreciate it. I just hope they were legal, because they're not getting it back, because I need it. So that's my thing. And you legal immigrants, stop fighting for illegals to be in this country and saying they have rights. They come over here, have babies, and then we say they're citizens. How can they be a citizen? What kind of stupid laws do we have from the 1800s or 1700s or whatever it was? We need to wake up. We need to be a country of giving and caring and working, not a welfare state. I can say, don't you come with this racist crap to me. Because I don't know whose blood I have. Don't care. Just hope it was legal because I'm not giving it back to him. It's not going back across the border. It's mine, and I'm keeping it. Now, I'll help you out if you need help. But don't come here and tell me you have rights. Don't come here and take things that other people have paid for that you're not paying for while people here that are legal citizens can't get it. That's what really makes me mad, that legal citizens can't get it. But we have people in the government getting it to people that they think they can buy their votes. And it's all our fault, America, because we elect these stupid people. And we keep on sending them back. Oh, they may be 80 years old, 90 years old, been in there 40, 50 years, have this big retirement, all this benefit, won't go into hospitalization. We have to go on. I'm on Medicare. I've earned it. Hey, I've done my job for 73 years, so don't be talking to me. I didn't get welfare. 
But we have got to stop this. We have got to take our country back. Everyone needs to work. Everyone needs to help everyone. No one should go hungry. And if you are here illegally, I say bless you. But I don't agree with you. You do not need to be getting welfare. Sorry, it's not unchristian. It's just the truth. And that's our problem. We are all pussyfooting around, being politically correct. Well, I'm sick of it. I never was too politically correct. People wonder what I was like when I was younger. No, a lot worse than I am now. They just didn't have computers. We didn't even have lights, so how could we have had a computer? I was out of high school from where I knew what a TV was or a telephone. We didn't have those kind of things. And y'all all want to complain. I have rights while well, you you know, raising the flag of some other country. If you're a legal American, I don't care where you came from, whether you you came legally and, and became a citizen, your grandparents or your great-grandparents or whoever, you're just like me, you're an American. But let's stand up for America and let's stop this welfare state. Let's get rid of these crooks in Washington who are giving our lives away. Do you hear me, America? I'm tired of talking to you. Listen to me. I know what I'm talking about. Stop the welfare state. Now, boy, did I go crazy today. And some of my kids are going to say, I told you not to do that. I told you not to do that. Well, I don't care what they told me. My granddaughter told me not to do that, and she's young. Don't care. My life, going to live it, going to say what I want to. I hope you listen to my blog. I hope you like me and you come back every day. But if you don't, that's okay, too. I survived this long. I'll keep on surviving. Well, I guess that's not unplugged for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, America.